Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to our This video is sponsored by Inkchep.net The good things about this product though is one, you don't need to worry about bringing your printer to the service center. You don't need to buy a new printer. It's very easy and very straightforward to use. And you can reset almost any printer model using this software. buy key online and step 3 is to reset and get back to printing to download the free wake reset utility let's open up our internet browser here right click and open here then i'm gonna type inkchip.net so here they have inkchip solution for chipless printing click on week so here is the inkchip adjustment program waste ink counter reset utility for epson printers the red light error so the price for every key is 9.99 US dollar per key. If you buy three keys, so you can get it for 6.99 US dollar per key. So it's basically the more keys you buy, the price gets lower. Remember, you can only use one key for one machine, but then you can use it for unlimited times. After buying your key, simply choose your language for free download. Here I'm gonna choose English and then the software will be downloaded. This software will work for almost any type of Epson printer, be it L-series, XP-series, Workforce-series, Stylus Office-series, and so much more. And then we're gonna install the software that we have just downloaded. Okay, the installation is done. So we will now open the Inkchip Week English version. Right click and open here. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and click on Waste Ink Counters. Our printer is already detected here. I'm actually using Epson L360. So I'm gonna click on Reset Ink Counters. And then I'm gonna paste the Waste Ink key here, which we have bought from the Inkchip website. So let me just grab my uh, key and then basically right click it here and then paste. Click on OK. So it says here done. Please restart the printer in order to finish the counter reset process. So I think we're actually done. The last thing we need to do is Turn off the printer and then turn it back on again. 